Tours, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to your December reading. Um, let's see what we have for you. It wouldn't be a reading if I didn't flip cards in the air, right? Okay, Taurus. Student in reverse, arrogance and pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. The first thing that I'm getting is I feel like you want to react to something um, in a defensive manner. But there's more to the story uh, than what it is that you're feeling. Uh, I feel like you're reacting to how you feel about something or reacting to something quickly um but there's more to the story there's more to be seen there's more to be talked about there's more to be revealed rainbow prince compensation perseverance yeah this is you trying to protect yourself um it's the story of if you back a tiger into the corner it's going to lash out that's how you're feeling. You're feeling like I need to do something to save myself. I need to do something to fix this. Angelic help, miraculous aid. This is what's interesting. This is coming in a way or coming towards you in a way to make you feel attacked. Um, but you need to stop and like listen. Okay. Uh, it's one of those things where you feel like you want to jump down somebody's throat. You feel like you want to be mad. You feel like you want to be angry. You feel like you want to be retaliate, but there's more to this story. You know, um, it's not the way you're perceiving it is not exactly what's happening is what I'm getting. Okay. Stranger, curiosity, mm -hmm. something happening, something happening out of the ordinary, out of your comfort zone. Galactic mushroom, the divine matrix. Mm -hmm. That tells me that there's more to the story. And perfect storm, the courage to step into life. Mm -hmm. There, okay guarantee that in this situation Taurus there's more than meets the eye okay this is not this is not a situation where you're being trampled on your rights and all that there's something that's being brought to your attention because it has to be brought to your attention in this way it's almost like there needed to be a conflict so things can move forward there needed to be disruption so things can move forward. And now you have to look within the situation to make the right decision is the best way to say it. And then after that, things will be fine. You know, things will work out the way that they need to. But it just so happens that it had to happen in this particular way that you don't like. Okay, so hangman, eight of swords, seven of cups. Three of Cups, Two of Spears, Ju King of Swords, I thought that was Judgment, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, The Emperor, Queen of Spears. Page of Cups and the Three of Spears. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Taurus, there's something coming that is going to impact your ego, your confidence, how you feel. And I do feel that need to want to fight back. You know, um, you're like, it's an obstacle. I can get past obstacles. I can fight obstacles. I can resolve things, right? But with the Page of Cups, this is something that... <laughs> 
that needs to involve love and compassion and acceptance and to see something um, with a new perspective or like child eyes, you know, like with a lightness. But I feel like it makes you feel like you want to (laughs) fight. You know, it makes you feel like you have to defend yourself. It's very interesting. I'm curious to know what it is. Okay, Major Arcana. The hangman, the emperor. The emperor is here and in the position that it's in. Because I feel like there's this need to like exert power or be dominant or take a stand. But it's in reverse because you either have done too much of that or you need to adjust it. You know, it's like it's time to pull back a little bit. And the Queen of Spears comes out with it because this does. Both of these cards together talk about an overactive ego and feeling the need to nurture that ego by fighting back, by showing dominance, by showing that you can win. But with the King of Swords, is that the right thing to do? You know? It just feels like there's confusion and complication and you just want to lash out and be like, you know, with your sword and be like, I'm the one that runs this, you know, but it's not going to resolve the issue. This is something that doesn't take brute force, but takes compassion and acceptance. So the hangman tells me (laughs) that there's something that you're missing. And um, this could be over time because I feel like, there's been this lingering energy in your readings towards like there's something you're missing, right? Like you're on your path, you're doing your thing, but there's something that you're skipping over. You know, there's some, there's a need to surrender to something, you know, there's a need to look at the larger picture or take a step back. Um, and it has something to do with others, coworkers, friends, relationships, um, joy the people that you spend time with it's like you need to look and evaluate those things or take a step back and see how it affects your overall energy yeah especially with the eight of swords how it's affecting you internally you know how you react to people why you do that is this good is this bad is this something I need to adjust am I trying to exert power over this person am I being um subservient to a person you know like things like that so this is a chance for you especially with the two of spears in the middle it's about choices and decisions excuse me so with it it being in reverse it's telling me that you have made decisions that are leading you down I would say quote unquote the wrong path and you have a chance to work with with those ideas that you just aren't letting go of that you need to um, to make things better, right? Because with the Queen of Cups here, it feels like people in your environment don't feel nurtured by you or you're not getting nurtured by the connections you have with others. So that needs to change. <laughs> um, either way that goes, that needs to change. Um, you're going to notice that you're having a hard time in your relationships with friends, with coworkers, with close relationships that once were joyful, not being joyful anymore. Um, and it's due to lack of nurturing and care. I can, I can see that or lack of compassion, seeing both sides or trying to control everything, something, something of that nature. Um, I, it's interesting though, Taurus, because it feels like your first reaction is to want to like jump all over this, but that's not the right choice. It's like you need to take a step back and reevaluate. I feel like we've talked about this before. Yeah, moving forward. It's like you need to be open to others' opinions, others' choices, others' reactions. You don't have all the right answers. <laughs> That's what this is, you know? It's like you were in this mindset of if it's right, you know, you'll come on my side. Everything else is not, you know? 
and and it's fine but you're making you're ma- you're being so defensive that you're almost creating yourself as a victim without knowing it you know and soon you'll be on the outskirts of the city <laughs> instead of in with the people so just be a little careful of that okay yeah high strung ego um this is about egos um because I feel like you're in December, you're being faced with your ego in a way that you don't want to, you know, it's kind of like, I'm going to tell it this way, how you treat people is going to be shown to you in December. And it doesn't look like you like it. (laughs) So that's just a, that's an indication of things needing to change. And I feel like you're confused at first about why it's happening or how it's happening. Um, It's almost like you think, oh, this is something that's going to pass, but it doesn't. It doesn't pass. And it makes you think, oh, I need to take a moment to see what's going on here because this is something that isn't changing. You know, it's it's like when you think I'm right so this will pass and then everybody will come to my side but it doesn't happen that way um and that's the realization I yeah that's the realization I feel like you need to see that the decision that you've made or how you've been acting or what you've done um up to now is affecting you your relationships your connections and how to fix that yeah missing the emotional connection not knowing where to start not knowing how to communicate it knowing this is a realization of poor investments and poor choices interesting I see you trying to rekindle something, whether it's a the romance with someone or a friendship, something. You're trying to rekindle something and it looks like it's not working very well. It's not catching on. Um, and it has to do with you either not apologizing or not understanding the purpose of why this is happening. So it feels like other people, just scenario, it feels like other people don't think that you've learned or that you don't understand. You just want things to be more comfortable for you, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I see there's a realization about how you interact with people or this person or a situation that you don't want to deal with. So this is not a reading that you're going to like, Taurus. Um, (laughs) You don't like it. But it's a realization that needs to be had. Yeah. So you can stop the direction that you're going in or the choices you're making and make different ones. So as far as career goes, um, Interesting. So I see you either feeling like you can't go anywhere in your job or you've reached like a pinnacle um, as far as work goes. And I feel like you're thinking about quitting because emotionally you don't feel like you can move up or do anything where you are, um, which is probably what is adding to this emotional situation here. But um you feel like it would be a bad choice to quit. Yeah, it's not the right, it's not the right time. So because of that, you have to deal with this emotional stuff. Um, And that'll make work better. It will. (laughs) It's just like you're, you're having this emotional problem and you want to fix something or gear it towards something and it's geared toward work and wanting to change that. But really, if you would just deal with whatever this is, things would be better at work. You wouldn't feel that way. I know that sounds weird, but. Mm. 
there's a lot of past energy coming up to you for you as well Taurus like not being able to achieve past goals and that affecting you in some way thinking about your past and wanting to be better than you were then so it's striving for you to work harder it's like you've made this mental decision about how you want your life to be um, but the problem is you're either pushing or demanding too much from the people around you who just want to be there to support you. You know, um, it's like, yes, you have this goal in this direction, but not everyone's going to see your vision. And just because they don't doesn't make them stupid or disposable. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, this that that unforgiving awareness moment for you. Um, and it definitely has to do with your actions. Your actions have created a block for you. You're going to see it in different areas of your life, whatever that is. And you're feeling the need to like bulldoze to get through those blocks. But that's not going to fix them. So you have to deal with. It talks about interpersonal connections. So it definitely has to do with connections with others or how you treat people or something of that nature. So just be aware of that. Um, don't be afraid to apologize. I feel like it shows a piece of compassion. Um, it shows a piece of vulnerability and awareness, you know, instead of trying to bulldoze over things. Okay. All right, Taurus. That was a deep one. I love you, though, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.